Hello everybody, this is Jay Wolf with Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, The Wrath of the Lamb. Uh, when we last left off, I had just cleared out a room filled with uh, those crazy meat guys that just keep coming back. Uh, I forget what they're called. But uh, it yielded a an Emperor Tarot card at the end of the uh, room, which uh, I'm going to hang on to for now because uh, I don't want to teleport right to the boss right yet. But um, it can be advantageous to do that at certain points in the game. So it's a, it's a decent card to have. It's not the best card, but it's also not the worst card. Um, generally, all the tarot cards are good. Um, so... I at least pick them up just to see what they are. And uh, Tarot cards and pills, they share the same slot. So if I pick up this pill, I can't have the tarot card. I eat. Isaac drops it. And this is a range down pill, so I obviously don't want a range down pill. So I'll just leave that there. Okay, so again, we have another arcade, and there's the boss room, but, uh, I only have one key. Now, the chances of me getting a key out of the slot machine are pretty good, but, uh, actually, you know what, I probably should, again, because I have that one heart, and I probably will get a key. And if I miss the treasure room, it's not the biggest deal in the world. I mean, it's you always want to pick up every treasure you can get, but uh, a lot of times you won't even be able to take the treasures with you because it's like you have a good spacebar item and the spacebar item, it's another spacebar item and it's not as good. You just you have to leave it behind sometimes, which kind of sucks, but that's the, uh, that's the name of the game. Oh, cool. You can have up to three orbitals. Right now I have two two pretty flies, and pretty flies are bottom tier of orbitals. Uh, you can have several other types of orbitals that are uh, a little bit more useful than the pretty flies, but uh, pretty flies aren't bad. I'm going to just use this so I don't have to pick it up. Uh, like I said, having pretty flies is not a bad thing. I mean, they will block shots for you, they'll kill, they'll hurt enemies if they get near you, they'll kill certain enemies. They're just an all-around good damage shield to have, pretty much. Oh, God. Ah, okay. So, since... <coughs> since I, uh... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, had the Magneto. Notice how that... The Troll Bomb was, uh... Magnetic towards me, too. So you gotta be careful of that. It'll pull explosive bombs to you. Um, and now I also got, uh, the little rock. Now you get that from, I believe, blowing up 50 rocks with bombs, and even that bomb counted as a bomb that I would have normally used, so, uh, I have unlocked the little rock, and that will show up under those, uh, those treasure rocks that I showed you earlier, or it's in one of the other videos. I think it was in, like, the first or second video, uh, certain rocks, they do have, um, usually soul hearts, but sometimes other stuff in there. That's where the, the rock will come from, the little rock. Uh, and what the little rock does is it, uh, it gives you a damage increase, but it also gives you a speed decrease of one. And it turns your shot, your tears, into like gray rock looking tears. So it looks like you're shooting little rocks out. Um, well, we found the the, uh, the boss, and I don't know what else is going to really be here, but <coughs> I probably should take the boss out just in case. Um, Oh yeah, that was a blood bank. I don't want to do that. Okay, we're just gonna go fight the boss then. And this is Monstro 2. Uh, I don't know if I've sh even seen Monstro 1 yet, but this is the upgraded version of uh, the Monstro boss, and uh, he'll jump around and he'll, he'll shoot those flies out. And those flies, actually, even though I have Skatole, will still hurt me, so you gotta be careful. Those are special kind of flies. Uh, and it's not even because they're they're dangerous to me, but they are. But uh, they shoot those little um, bombs and little bullets, little, little tears. So man, this is getting really annoying. Ow. Yeah, I'm really in trouble now. Me. Oops! Didn't mean to do that. I used my tarot card instead of uh, using my spacebar item. Let me slow him down a little bit. That way I can actually get a handle on him, and uh, he will, when you 
you're at the right, yes, right, right there. Uh, when you're at the the right axis, I think it's you have to be the same, the same X. Oh. Oh, there goes the one-up mushroom. See, I wasn't paying enough attention. But since we're at full health, let's check out some of these other rooms because I want to see what's here. Okay, that's what the one-up mushroom is for. Very smart to get yourself killed. Okay, coin, good. And ooh, these guys. Okay, these are uh, like almost like bobblehead guys, but they uh, they're a little body uh, with a with a attached to a head, and when you sever that connection, the head will float around and shoot at you. And these guys are actually um, enemies by themselves. You'll, you'll, you'll find often the floating heads and the severed bodies by themselves as normal enemies, but this is like a combination enemy. And um, you'll notice here, this is one of the, uh, the bombable blocks here that will give me something, so I'm going to bomb that. And it drops a regular heart and a soul heart. Okay. Uh, now, Monstro, too, is being really annoying, but... Uh, He's normally not that difficult. I've, I, I've never really died to him before. That was kind of embarrassing. But, uh, I guess everything can happen. But uh, let's see. Since I'm since I'm not too concerned about the soul heart right now, I'll leave it be. I'll, I'll come and grab it afterwards. So I probably could use it on the next floor. But uh, okay, we've we've officially cleared all the normal rooms out of this floor. But I think there's a secret room right here. I'm hoping there is. No. Okay, how about here? Ah, there it is. Okay, so that gave me six pennies. Not bad. I guess a bomb is worth about six pennies. And actually, since I do have full health, I'm going to try to beat this boss with as much health as I can. That way I can use some of the... Um, the hearts for that machine, but it's unlikely I'll, I'll be able to use it that much just because I'm going to want as much health as I can for the next level, the next part. Okay, I'm going to show you the strategy for this guy too. So, you can get him into a repeatable chain of just shooting his laser. Watch. I don't even have to do anything. He'll just keep sh as long as... Okay, see, I, I broke the chain there, but if you can get... If you can get him to shoot the laser once, you can usually induce it over and over again. And that's actually a good strategy for beating him, is to just keep shooting him and keep making him use his laser over and over again. And that's the best way and most effective way to kill him without using any health. I don't know if that was a bug or something or an exploit, but I, mean, I definitely use it to my advantage because this game is very, very unforgiving. So you want to take every advantage you can get. I don't have too much damage right now, so it's going to take a little while to wear him down, but I will eventually. Oh! I broke the chain right at the end, but he's almost dead anyway. Alright, so I killed him. See, notice, watch, I will pick up the, the big heart. Now, see, the other heart stopped chasing me. Now, what, uh, what dropped, he dropped uh, the box. Now, what the box does, um, it's kind of a double-edged sword. You have to really want what the uh, items are in the box. It's going to drop uh, uh, several items, but what it does is it puts the box around you and you lose speed. So right now I have three speed, which at this point in the game, speed is precious. Um, you get like a tarot card, a bomb, a key, and blah, 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 some other stuff. A uh, trinket, I believe. But it comes at the cost of the speed, and at this point in the game, I just... I don't really want to take the speed hit on it, so... It, it's not, uh... It's not the best boss item. Alright, so we are in the last, uh the last level of the normal game, The Depths 2, and uh, I'm going to cut the video here for now, but uh, we'll finish this up on the next segment. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.